Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and I am back with another super quick tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your header navigation in Framer sticky. So this means that when the user scrolls down, this menu, logo and CTA at the top will stay stuck to the top of the screen. So at the moment, you can see when the user scrolls down, it disappears and I have to scroll back up to be able to jump to a different page. So it's super simple. I do recommend you watch our relative versus absolute positioning video, which I will link somewhere here, and you'll be able to grasp the concept of positioning a bit better, and that will allow you to understand this a lot better. But if you're just looking for a quick thing to make your header sticky, keep watching, I've got you covered. I've named this whole stack called header, and everything I need is in it, the menu, the logo, and the CTA. And I've also got a background colour. You don't have to have a background colour. If you don't, your text will kind of go over all the other elements on your page. So if the contrast is off or you've got black text overlaying on something else that's black, the contrast won't look so great. So I do recommend having a, a fill of some sort or maybe a background with a blur or really light opacity. That's up to you. So my desktop page at the moment is organised in a stack. It's got vertical direction and I can move things around like this. So I can move things around, I can shift things like so. So everything is positioned relatively to one another. So I can remove this by removing this layout and then anything I have on the page will now be positioned absolutely. The only way it's positioned where it is, is it bec it's because it is positioned in reference to the sides of the screen. So this header is zero pixels from the top, zero pixels from the left, zero pixels from the right, but 5,000 pixels from the bottom. But I've got it pinned to the top, so it will always stay at the top. So if I start to scale my page up and down, it's not going to be moving around. It's going to stay at the top here. But that aside, I'm going to put this back to have the layout. And there's two ways to go about this. So the first way is to simply click under position, click type and click sticky. But in order for an element to be sticky, the parent element, in this case, the parent would be the layer this is in, which is the desktop, has to have the overflow to visible. And that might not always be ideal if to have your main desktop set to overflow visible, because if you have a carousel that goes off the screen, I'll show you now, goes off the screen like so, if it's set to overflow visible, the user will be able to scroll off the screen. So I'm going to show you how to go around this, but this is the first method. You can set the parent element to overflow visible, and then you can click on the header, and set it to sticky. And when I preview this, you will see that the header here is stuck to the top when I scroll. So now, because we don't want that overflow issue, we're going to remove overflow. We're going to make overflow hidden on the parent element, which is the desktop screen. We're going to come back to header and I'll show you it's no longer sticky because the overflow on the desktop is not set to visible. So now we're going to have to change a few things. So we're going to click on the header, come to position, and we're simply going to select fixed. Now, something interesting happens here is that it starts fixed to the top and overlays over the content behind it. So there's a few ways you can uh, fix this. Make sure that your first frame has padding above it, which allows space for the header above it. So I'll quickly do that. So now when I preview it, I've allowed padding above this text so that the header can fit in and it's not over overlaying all the other information. So when I scroll now, this header is fixed to the top of the page. And when it is fixed, make sure that it is fixed to the top. So this line should be selected blue and zero pixels from the top. From the left or the right, it depends if you have a, a header the full width of the page or not but make sure it's fixed to the top so that'll always float with the top. That being said, you can fix it to the bottom. You can make it zero at the bottom. 
and if I preview this, you can see now I've got it fixed to the bottom. So wherever you pin it is wherever it stays. So if I just wanted to, maybe I'll delete this. I'll delete my navigation. And I want the width of my header to just simply fit my CTA. I can fix my CTA to the left. And now if I preview this CTA will scroll with the page because it's fixed on the left hand side. So you can see how you kind of use this fixed feature to kind of make anything stuck anywhere on the page. And that's it. That's how you can use the sticky feature or the fixed positioning to make your header stuck to the top of the page. If this helped you, please give this video a like. And if you are wanting to get stuck into Framer, use the links in the description below to get you started. I will see you in the next video. Bye.